Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle shook the world when they sat down for their explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey on March 8 last year. In the bare all talk, they made a number of bombshell remarks about their life in the royal family and some family members themselves, including Kate Middleton. Since the historic TV moment, ITV legend Lorraine Kelly has made a number of comments about the royal couple, and she certainly hasn't held back. On the anniversary of the infamous Oprah chat, Daily Star has rounded up ITV favorite Lorraine's brutally honest takes on Harry and Meghan. Lorraine weighed in on the Duke and Duchess chat on social media, and she clearly wasn't fond of it. She called the tell-all interview a sad and unnecessary affair in front of her 686,000 followers. The ITV host also believed neither party would come out well from the interview. Replying to a tweet about the upcoming exclusive, she wrote, I don't think either side is going to come out of this well. Also unnecessary and actually rather sad. The Scottish presenter went all in when she blasted Harry and Meghan's Lifetime movie. Escaping the Palace depicts Harry and Meghan's Oprah chat, meant as a sequel to A Royal Romance and Becoming Royal, which both starred different actors as the titular characters. However, Lorraine ripped into the film when she watched a trailer for the flick on her ITV show. Biting her lip, she said, Oh God love them. That looks hideous. She added, as if their life's not insane enough, they've got that. What a blinking shame. The mum of one also questioned the future of Harry and Meghan's Spotify deal, which was worth an estimated $25 million. It came after the couple shared their concerns with the streaming platform over alleged COVID misinformation. The Sussexes said they were prepared to continue the deal, and would push Spotify bosses for changes. Lorraine had been speaking to royal expert Russell Myers on her show, who pointed out the couple hadn't done much work for the streaming company. Wondering if their deal was coming to an end, she said, it might be that that's the end of it, who knows. Kelly suggested the Duke should have phoned his dad Charles rather than take a security matter to court. In January, Harry sought a judicial review against the Home Office after the government declined his attempt to pay for his own police protection in the UK. The prince said he wanted to ensure his family's safety when he visits Britain, after losing his taxpayer-funded police security when he stepped back from royal duties in 2020. Lorraine said on the matter, it just feels awful, why go to court? Can't he just pick the phone up and call his dad and say I want to come over here, you've not seen your granddaughter yet, can we fix it? Can we sort something out? Kelly took another sly swipe at the couple during her Spotify chat with Russell Myers. She had just been discussing Harry being ridiculed for suggesting anyone who is unhappy in their jobs should just quit it. The royal commentator remarked, this is his role as chief impact officer of a wellness startup called BetterUp, if you're following me. It's a bit difficult. Are they in the real world? He asked. Lorraine simply said, no. It's been almost a year since Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle sat down for a bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey. In the tell-all chat aired on 8 March 2021, Harry and Meghan spoke candidly about their lives as royals, and sent the country into shock as they made several serious allegations. It resulted in the government watchdog Ofcom receiving over 5,000 complaints. And now, 12 months on, Royal expert Duncan Larkham says their rift with the royal family has shown no signs of ending. In fact, he says the couple are still extremely isolated and cut off from those they were closest to.